Alright, we are in the cistern. Let's take a look at the map first off. Oh, we got an X over here. Well, hey, that's great. Whoa, 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 how many rupees is that? Oh, oh, oh no, it's a fake rupee. It's a fake rupee. Brutal. Oh. I can't get through the X, because there's another one of them waterfalls. I noticed that this lily pad's turned upside down. I wonder if I can't do this. Ah, oh. Dang, that would've been cool. How do underwater jellies act? Something tells me I don't just swim into him and, and spin attack. Oh, yeah, I do. I do, and it owns him. Although I saw his eyes around still, which was weird. Wow, I missed. Those hurt. bombs on the jellies, but, you know, since then I've started just flailing wildly in order to hit them really, really fast. It seems to be working. Sometimes I stab them, that doesn't quite work, because it doesn't deal any damage, or split them in half, but... Mm, a water jet. It's a very artistic water jet. I'll drop down, why not? Whoop! Oh! Oh, I understand now. I should go underneath those instead of taking damage for no reason. I I still have to say, you know, Beetle is just easier on these guys. That failed a little bit though. A lot of hearts over there. Just mowing the grass. I see a sculptula over there. Just explore a little bit with the beetle here. Oh. I insist that I flew above that, but whatever game. So, can I turn it back over by dropping on it again? No. Things only get worse when you drop down onto the lily pads. Come at me, spider bro. I'm breaking your web. What you gonna do about it? Nothing? Okay, good. Cause I don't- oh, oh geez. Angered the spider bro. Oh, wait, now I'm supposed to flip him up like that and then jump on him. Take him out! Say, you attack upwards like that, not, not from the top. I was trying to do it first. Yeah. 
Alright, so there's four gemstones. Assuming I have to hit all of them, and I only have to hit each once, there's like 24 different combinations. So you could just try and spam that, but I'm not going to do that. I mean, there's also the possibility that you're supposed to hit, you know, hit them multiple times each. At which point, there's an infinite number of combinations, and that's, that's no good. I'll go in a little bit of a circle here. That's okay with me. I need to go discover the Semple's Sacred Order. You know, this looks suggestive. Like, uh... Like there will be a way for me to cross it soon. Oh, I see... I see an up gem. I think that's just on the north side of that, so... Not actually super useful. Just because I saw that up first doesn't mean that it means that up is first. Oh, leave me alone, you jerks. That's gonna be too high to jump. Yeah. Wait, why can't I climb up just directly onto that? Hmm. All right, there's gotta be a way for me to flip that. Uh, flip that lotus. Maybe I didn't like hit the edge of it enough. Alright, come on. Come on, Link. Work it out. Where are we going here? I haven't really explored underwater a whole lot over in this direction. I should not drown, though. I still want my fictional rupee. There's a pull-up bar over in this direction that it looks like I could probably walk up to if one of the one of the lily pads, one of the lotus blossoms, was flipped up the correct way. That over there is what I'm talking about. But I'm not sure how to flip over a lotus blossom that's gone the wrong way. It seems like you just get hurt when you try to do that. This waterfall totally walls that off. So the last thing that I'm thinking is maybe I can just jump to it, but it's a bit too high for that. In fact, I'm not entirely sure that I can just jump to it from this lily pad here. Um. Trying to like jump and attack there. Do I have any items that might? I mean, I've gust meadows. Doubtful. All right.
Whoa, okay. What does this do? Is this just a collectible? I bet it's just a collectible. No, it's not. What does it do? Maybe a better question is, does it do anything? I'm trying to throw it, it's not letting me. Nah, just trying to do uh, Deku seeds. Alright, we've got a water wheel here. I guess I could go anger that bird. We'll see how that ends up going. I don't actually know if I can. I don't know if I can fly that high. Yeah, no. I'm gonna run out of juice. Looks like there's a whole lot going on high up in this temple. In this room, even. I can't get up there until I have whatever lets you jump from place to place, though. I don't think, yeah, that, that jump is too far, for sure. Um. I clearly just need the water dragon to come in here and, like, interrupt that one waterfall for me. Come on, that's that's how I solve my waterfall problems, is I just have the dragon take care of it for me. I can't actually avoid flipping those at all. There's, like, nothing going on down here in particular. Oh, jeez. Huh. The fact that it sounded like affirmative, like good, 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 bad, made me think that I was like, yeah, close, maybe there. But no, it just always makes the noises of good, good, and then bad. I feel like I must be missing something in here. Yeah, come on, there you go. You can do it. But all this allows me to do is go back down there. So, no, actually, I'm not missing anything in these rooms, I don't think. There's just that door. To get out of here. There's no way for me to get over there yet. Hmm. I'll go ahead and give running and jumping across here a chance, but... Pretty confident that's entirely too far. I'm trying to think if maybe like there's something to do with the rupees down there, you know? Alright, okay, so now maybe we can actually get at this whole order thing. So if it goes like bottom to top, we've got down right here. <laughs> 
there's this water wheel. But I'm not I'm not convinced that I can do anything with the water wheel. Description there. Okay. I'm actually going to write that down. <laughs> We're dealing with back, rear. Back of the right hand. And then the back of the left hand. Alright, so... This is back to the left hand, which is the last in the sequence. <laughs> 